Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about these training knives brought to you by CERT. Now, you may be familiar with CERT. I know that I found out and learned about CERT and that company uh, many years ago when I picked up one of their awesome CERT training pistols. So, when I saw that they came out with a trainer, and uh, to boot, one of my fellow uh, United States Marine brothers helped to design this training knife and he has uh, ample experience to say the least. So putting all those things together, I really wanted to get my hands on these training knives. And if you're interested and want to learn more about this uh, CERT training blade, stay tuned. When it comes to training knives, there are a plethora of choices out there on the market. And within my Warrior Zero project, we have ample types of uh, trainers, to say the least. But just like most tools out there, there's the correct tool for every job. So with plastic, okay, starting out with these polymer type training knives, they're basically modeled after uh, most of the knives that you'll find, most popular knives that you will find out there on the market. And uh, they're usually fixed blades for training purposes. And uh, this one happens to be modeled after a K-bar. And what's cool about these is uh, not to get into too much detail on uh, training itself, but when we do train uh, with, uh, with knives and blades, there are different ranges of training. And when it comes to long range and mid range, I prefer using these type of trainers, uh, especially with uh, newer students uh, that come in and are having their introduction to the blade. And one of the main reasons why is because it's more forgiving as we're out there kind of trying to hack each other up and going through our angles and going through all sorts of uh, different flows and drills, you're kind of getting hit with this piece of plastic, but it is more forgiving than the next one that I am speaking about, which is made out of aluminum. So once again, this is basically a knife without a sharpened edge. So as you can imagine, as we're going through our drills and uh, trying to do everything that we're doing, you end up getting whacked. Now, everything has a purpose, right? This one is great to go out there and uh, get started and practice. And even when you're just working on different drills and know that there's going to be a lot of contact, I prefer these. But once again, there's a bit of a bend. Oh, <laughs> the aluminum blade does not bend. So if you are working on certain type of locks, uh, even disarms, things of that nature, if you do work on those, these are more of an ideal blade. At the same time, when you are kind of getting hacked with it, it's giving you much more real world uh, feedback, all right? Because you don't really want to get hit by this thing and it'll mimic the same way that, hey, I really don't want to get stabbed or slashed by that. So your practice becomes a little bit more uh, in tune with the situation at hand as opposed to just having something soft that, uh, you know, isn't going to cause that much impact and you might end up losing the focus of what your training is all about and it becomes more of a dance with two pieces of aluminum or two pieces of plastic. I mentioned long range, I mentioned uh, mid range as far as uh, applications when we are training, which of course conveys into real world uh, incidents. And then there's close range. And if you're like me and like to study these closed caption TVs and what goes on in jail yards and what goes on in everyday assaults and even terrorist attacks, a lot of these things are occurring at that close range where a piece of people are just really just up nice and tight and they're getting there thrusted and thrusted and thrusted and thrusted and uh, all sorts of bad things happening at this super close range. So when it comes to the CERT knife, the thing that I really like about their design and, and their thought process that they put into this is that there is very much a flexible blade. Now, a lot of people carry uh, folders. I know that I do, uh, especially in New Jersey. It's pretty much the only thing that we're allowed to carry. And it would, pretty much would mimic this size of a knife once that folder would be opened. And when you think about most occur, uh, occurrences of close range attacks, this would be an, an, an ideal knife to, or training knife to uh, practice with. And mainly because if I'm in that close range and I'm deploying thrusts to my training partner, there is a good chance that I'm going to end up hurting my training partner, especially with these metal blades, but even with these tough polymer blades. You stick it into a rib, you end up hitting a sensitive organ, all sorts of terrible things have happened. I've even discussed it with CERT and CERT uh, representatives, and uh, they gave me more of their insight and very similar on these type of topics when they were training, and somebody would end up getting hurt, and they said, listen, we really got to do something about this. 
So by having this flexible bleed, I can really go in there and not so much hold back in my training. Because if I do hold back and it's for the goodwill of my training partner, I'm actually jipping my training partner because I'm attacking much softly and much more coordinated. And if he or she is going to get attacked on the street, that's not how it's going to go down, right? It's going to be down and dirty and fast and all that. So if we practice the same way that we might get assaulted on the street or in any kind of conflict, we're going to bode much better in that situation. And being able to have a knife like this that allows you to explore those attributes while you're on the mat and training is something that I find invaluable. And that is why this is certainly uh, one of my preferred, if not the most preferred trainer, especially for practical application. So bottom line, if you're thinking of adding new trainers or even picking up trainers for the first time, definitely take a look at these CERT training knives. They're built well, they're priced well, and as far as the uh, feedback that they're providing you while you're in a training scenario, once again, I find that invaluable and hard to mimic with other types of trainers that are available on the market. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.